Taylor Swift, the 33-year-old global artist known for her platinum albums and a string of top-grossing singles, also has an amazing real estate portfolio worth an estimated $80 million. Her collection of luxurious homes spread out across the United States is the height of high-class life. Beyond her songs, Swift's love for luxurious and beautifully decorated residences shows her love of creativity and comfort. In this video, we'll take a closer look at her $80 million worth of properties across the US. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. Tripica, New York City. In the middle of busy New York City, Swift made headlines when she paid an unbelievable $47.7 million for not just a house, but basically a full city block. She started buying real estate in New York in 2014 when she paid $19.95 million for two penthouses next to each other in a building in Tribeca. She bought a huge 3,540-square-foot house on the second floor of the same building for almost $10 million in 2018, adding to her huge real estate portfolio. The nearby four-story home on Franklin Street, which is over 100 years old, cost her $18 million and was added to her collection in 2017. There is a gym, a spa, antique French oak floors, and a cute terrace with plants and a Japanese paper glass wall in this historic home. It has six bathrooms, seven bedrooms, and a three-bedroom flat next door for Swift's security team. The more than $1 million in repair permits and work orders she sent to the NYC Department of Buildings show how much she wants things to be perfect. Rhode Island, Watch Hill. Taylor Swift has a peaceful home in Rhode Island where she can go when the stresses of city life become too much to bear. This coastal home stretches across an expansive 12,000 square feet and features eight bedrooms, eight fireplaces, and an unimpeded view of the water from its five-acre perch along Watch Hill's highest point. In addition, it boasts over 700 feet of beachfront along the highest point of the town. It is said that the peaceful neighborhood which is removed from the typical A-list celebrity scene, was the source of inspiration for her song, The Last Great American Dynasty. It is a monument to Swift's propensity for the spectacular, as well as her ability to turn a piece of real estate into a personal inspiration for her work. Music Row, Nashville. As the place from which she launched her successful career as a singer, Nashville holds a unique and significant significance for Taylor Swift. She made her first purchase of real estate when she was in her early 20s. It was an apartment on Music Row in Nashville that was 3,240 square feet and cost $1.9 million. This corner duplex in the Adelicia complex includes three bedrooms, high ceilings, and many wonderful features, such as an Olympic-length heated pool and a personal trainer. In comparison, the Northumberland Estate, a breathtaking Greek revival masterpiece that Swift purchased in June of 2011, is the most magnificent of Taylor Swift's homes in Nashville. The main home measures 5,600 square feet and was constructed in 1934. It features four bedrooms and five bathrooms. In 1964, a guest house measuring 2,000 square feet was attached to the property. Guilford Dudley Jr., a former U.S. ambassador to Denmark, owned the home, which is situated on six acres and is located in a prestigious neighborhood of Forest Hills. Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, Swift spends much of her time on the East Coast, but she does make trips to the glamour of Los Angeles. In 2018, she changed things up in her real estate by selling two homes in Beverly Hills. The first house, a Cape Cod-style cottage, sold for $4 million. The second, a smaller one-story house that was used as a hotel, sold for $2.65 million. She did, however, hold on to a treasure in Los Angeles, the stunning $25 million Georgian Revival house she bought in 1934. It's 10,982 square feet and has seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms. It used to belong to Hollywood film director Samuel Goldwyn before Swift bought it in 2015. The Beverly Hills Cultural Heritage Commission has granted Taylor Swift permission to designate the Georgian Revival Estate she owns as a historic landmark. This is a recent development, 
because of this decision, it is clear that she is dedicated not only to her music, but also to conserving the architectural and cultural legacy of the lavish properties she owns. Taylor Swift's luxurious real estate portfolio matches her music career's ascent. Her U.S. residences reflect her great taste and vast wealth. Taylor Swift's real estate investments show her success and eye for outstanding properties in New York City, Rhode Island, Nashville, and Los Angeles. That's all for today's video. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching.